What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one wants to break down what's going on with the overall market and talk about how it's looking right now. In the beginning, the market was looking very strong as we got some good data and it was continuing to hold up. But as time went on, the market began to turn and things are starting to look more bearish. Before I say anything, though, let me just say a couple of things. I'm personally not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And anyways, let's break down what's happening with the market. So with the PCE data that came out, this was strong data for the markets and the market was pumping initially. Initially, the market was very, very strong. We were calling out some very, very nice moves. But intraday, the market started to slow down. We got this rejection off 432. That's very close to the target we had towards that gap fill. And now the market is trying to sell off very, very aggressively, which tells us that we are not done just yet. So this was very wild. This is not what I was personally expecting to happen uh, but it is, once again, the end of September, and it looks like we are going to be ending on a very, very weak end. The market is just continuing to just sell off very aggressively right now. And it's, it's pretty crazy because we had good inflationary numbers. The data that came out was good, okay? But what happened was Williams from the Fed is speaking, and he said some very, very hawkish things. Uh, he said very, very important things about uh, what went on about the markets. He said that the Fed has to remain more restrictive and the market is now getting a very negative response and the whole market is trying to sink as we end this trading session. So this nice pump we got off PCE, I mean, typically when you get good inflationary numbers, when the data is good, you know, the market should hold up, right? That's what tends to happen historically. And it looks like the market is trying to be irrational and it's beginning to sell off. At the same time, this is not, not anything that should be like way too surprising because September is historically a weak month. So yes, we ended up getting the pump initially, but now the market's turning. We just have to be prepared to adjust uh, because of all these different things. So for SPY now, now that this thing is just on a massive bloodbath, we're going to be watching 427 very carefully. Uh, if that fails us, the next level to be watching for is going to be close to 425. You want to see 425 hold us if this 427 support breaks. And below that, uh, we have even more support around 424. So we're going to be watching that very carefully. Tesla was pumping very nicely. We had a very, very strong pump for the first couple of hours. If you look at Tesla, it was holding up very nicely. It hit 254. Holding up, holding up, holding up, and now it's, it's trying to curl right now, it's trying to slow down. So if Tesla ends up breaking below 248.5, we're going to be watching it come all the way down to 246. It's starting to turn bearish, so I just want to warn you guys about that. Uh, Apple stock, we got a very nice pump to start us off thanks to PCE. We were holding up for the first few hours. Now it's curling back down. If this 170.8 support breaks, we have 169 point. Uh, nine that's coming and below that's 169 flat 167.62 would be the next major support if we break below 169 so it's looking weaker the qqq got a very very nice pump initially was holding up hitting 362.95 it was holding up for the first couple of hours then it started to turn downwards and we just started breaking down uh really hard from this support at 359 we just broke that just about like 20 minutes ago so now we're, we're tanking towards 358 if we break below that and fail to hold the 200 ema this thing's going to be heading towards 356 again so be very careful guys qqq is starting to curl nvidia i was talking about this thing testing 440 yes it went up to 440 it technically reached the level i was talking about but it failed to hold and as a result the market is slowing down nvidia is coming down to four 34. Watch 433 as support. We actually have this gap down here on NVIDIA. Uh, this is closer to 432.5. I think that's going to be tested. And if that breaks, 428 is going to be on the table. So NVIDIA has some potential downside coming. And the market is once again starting to look weak again. So we're not done with the selling overall. This pump that happened, uh, it, it was very awesome to witness because we had got some decent inflationary numbers and yet it failed to last. So the bears still have control after all. So did the market make the moves I called out? Initially, yes, we did see Tesla you know, pump. We saw a spy pump. NVIDIA hit 440. It reached my targets. It's just that it did not last and the market started curling and now the market's looking weaker. So things like this could happen. And now that this ended up happening, the best thing to do is just pre be prepared and to watch your indicators very carefully. The market's looking more bearish. It's looking weaker. So please be prepared, guys. Do what you have to do. And I'll see you guys very soon for the later update videos. Thank you and peace out.